we've all been brought up, whether you come from the facility side of the house or the property side of the house, to think about FM or property as technical professional terms. Whereas those of us who are involved in this area, we're really all about supporting the business. And we need to leave the jargon behind within our areas and understand how best to interact, interrelate with the businesses we support. As an industry, both on the FM and the property side of the house, we're still too inward looking in perspective in terms of we're very interested in the bricks and mortar, whereas the game has changed to one where people need to be able to work anywhere, any place, any time. big challenge for an industry which has a focus on something which is really tangible, a building, an office building, a retail unit, an uh, industrial building, which are easy to define, but in reality the nature of the game has changed fundamentally in the last 10 years because we now see distributed working, we now see even more home working. So as professionals responsible for supporting the workplace of the 21st century, we need to widen our remit. And that requires agility. If you look back over history, actually in March 19, or April 1993, MIT published the first thought pieces around moving our industry from being order takers to strategic advisors. And all I've been doing is following that, um, shall we say, staircase of value. I think the stars are aligning because the nature of work is changing, business is changing in front of our eyes. We've got significant economic challenges, both in terms of business and in terms of government, all of which mean that um, organisations need to become much more agile themselves and lean, which means the people who are responsible for enabling work, which primarily has been the facility manager, needs to see this as a huge opportunity to take the initiative to become the strategic advisor to help senior managers shape and drive corporate strategy. There are two sides to the coin uh, and we've been focusing just on the um, what I call the cost efficiency side. We also need to explore the opportunity on the other side of the coin which is that of business effectiveness and really understand the fundamental and now growing link between providing effective workplaces that um, attract and retain the talent that companies need to be creative and value creating in the world of the future.